Hi, it's Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally, and I have some garden-inspired crafts. I got this free, beautiful lovebird, not really sure, statue <laughs> at the dump, the other dump haul that I did, and I also got this candle holder and decided to just simply marry the two and put them in my garden and I love the way that they look and that kind of got me on a gardening kick. So I decided to start with this caddy from Ikea that my husband found on the good table at the dump and I'm not really sure its intended purpose but I decided that I would use it for something garden related. I had mixed up this paint for a different project last probably last spring and I love it. It is just a really beautiful pale, almost sage green. So I went ahead and painted this base of the caddy with two coats and then also decided to put that same color on the wooden handle. And then while I was letting the paint dry, I pulled out a couple of the peat pots that I had picked up for my actual indoor garden. Sometimes I start my plants inside and I wanted to use those on the little um, caddy. So I took some just creamy uh, wall paint that I had been using on a different project and decided to just so sort of dry brush over them just to give them a little bit of contrast. Um, Last time I was at the dump, somebody had left half of a package of this Das terracotta colored clay at the dump and so I decided to just roll out a couple of pieces of that clay for the first two pots sort of make them a bit of a sort of oval shape I didn't need them to be perfect I just kind of ripped the edges and then just sort of um, smoothed it out a little bit getting the shape that I wanted for this and then I pulled out some um, letter stamps that I think I actually got on Amazon and just pressed into the clay. And then um, I wanted one of them to say stakes and one of them to say seeds. And then while they were still actually pliable, I just went ahead and added some Mod Podge glue there to the back of it and then just put it right over the dry painted surface of those peat pots, pressed it in just a little bit to make sure that it was going to stay. And then once those two were drying, I just took, I had just pressed some of these um, B stamps on tissue paper last year and I had a few left over. So I decided to decoupage these two Bs on the other two pots. And then once those were drying, I went ahead and gave both the caddy as well as the uh, wooden handle the second coat of paint. Then once the all of the paint was dry, I wanted to get a little bit of the antiquing wax um, just to give this a little bit more of a vintage look and so it didn't look quite so new. Then while everything was drying, I took some wine corks. I had found a huge bag of these at the dump last year and just took a really nice Sharpie pen and wrote on the corks the plant names. Um, I happened to have just picked up some basil and a few different um, herbs. So I just wrote the names of those and then took the Dollar Tree skewers and just went ahead and stick, stuck those into the cork and um, then cut them at the length that I wanted them to be. I think these are absolutely adorable garden stakes, um, especially for herbs. I did wet distress the handle. I did go ahead and add some antiquing wax to both the handle and the green uh, interior caddy base of this to give it just more of a vintage and I look. I've also gotten three of these. I call them garden stakes, but somebody had actually used them indoors for a, maybe a uh, a social event for some food um, and I just went ahead and took my black chalked paint and painted over the centers because that white was not coming off and there the uh, Dollar Tree does sell a nice white chalk almost like a marker it works really well so if I want to I can use these in the future for garden stakes or for something else but I just wanted to show you two different options there.
Now, once everything is dry, I do go ahead and take a mix of clear and antiquing wax together and especially want to get down into uh, the words on these pots and then the tops and bottoms with that and then just take a rag and then wipe everything back to give it more of a vintage look and to make sure that that uh, the letters stand out. Now, once I am finished, I fill this and I just think that it came out so absolutely adorable. What a wonderful gift idea for the gardener in your family or for Mother's Day um, or just for yourself or home decor. So this is just a, a sweet little idea. If you have something hanging around the house, these peat pots cost about 25 cents a piece if you buy them in bulk on Amazon. And um, I think that they have a lot of different applications. I do like to put a couple of stones in the bottom or some um, Spanish moss when I fill them. Just different ideas uh, for those. I would love to know what you think about this little Ikea caddy. And then that takes me on to the next thing, which my husband had picked up at the dump. And it was a fence bird feeder bird house combination, I guess. And um, I wasn't in love with them together. So I asked him to separate the two pieces. And I really love the bird house by itself. I have um, already put it in my garden. And uh, I had picked up this green chair at the dump as well. My dump is amazing. I've told you. Um, so that is um, just adorable. So piece of that picket fence. I asked him to cut a piece of the fence off and I took this wreath that I had, took all the fall stuff off of it, cleaned it real good because it was dirty. And then I went ahead and I wired a piece of the fence in the back of this wreath. And then I added a bunch of flowers that I had picked up at the dollar store. Um, I used three stems, so about three seventy-five. The wreath was free to me from the dump. The fence piece was free to me from the dump, and um, about yeah three. I think three seventy-five for the flowers. And then while I was at the dollar store, I found the most beautiful gardening gloves that went so beautifully with this wreath that I decided to add them as well. And then I picked up a packet of seeds and I used the seeds in my garden. And then I went ahead and took some shipping tape and just taped the whole thing to make it waterproof in the event that this actually does make its way to my garden gate uh, outside which I think it might and then I also found this little sign that said welcome to my garden with the same beautiful pastel colors at the dollar store and I just wired all that together and added a hanger to the back and I am in love with this love 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 the colors and it is so so sweet that I am pretty sure that I am going to be keeping this <laughs> and I do think I'm going to put it outside on my garden uh, gate when I finally get all, my garden all together I will take a video of how that all came out a little better view of that with my little angel Next, I am taking some of the paper clay, which is white, and rolling out a piece that is just a rectangle shape, maybe three by four, something like that, and then taking just a tool to cut that to be more of a rectangle. And then once I got the shape that I liked and rounded out the edges, I took out my stamps again. And this time I had purchased these on, um, I'm gonna say Amazon, I don't remember, might have been Etsy, um, a year or two ago, and I wanted to put some florals in this to make a pocket. So I just went ahead and pressed those, two of those in, and then I took the little bee from the IC Paris stamps, and I put a little bee in the top of this. And then in order for this to dry, I needed to put it on a little, um, rounded object so that I would be able to turn this into a pocket. So I had this little 
metal pail that I had picked up at the dollar store. So I just laid it over the pail. And once it was half dry, I took the same wax and just went ahead into the details with that and then took the rag and wiped everything back. One, to make it look vintage. Two, to make sure that those details pop. I love the look of the wax over the white um, clay. Next, I took a scrap piece of barn board from an old project and went ahead and um, glued the pocket to the wood with some wood glue. I first did like a bottom, um, just kind of um, pressed out a piece of clay, the shape of the bottom, and then glued the... Um, pocket on top of that so that I would be able to fill it and not have it fall right out onto the floor. And then once that is all glued on, I take the wet antiquing wax and just go around the cut edges of the board and then fill the pocket. And that is all I did with this. And I think it came out absolutely adorable. I love working with this clay and I will definitely be making more clay items in the future. And I love the way that all of my garden projects came out this week. I would love to know what you think and how you like these colors. And also, I want you to make sure that you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for two challenges that I'm going to be in over the next couple of weeks. So thanks for stopping by. I will see you in the next one. Take care.